Hello guys and welcome back, I am Wayzero, thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, we are playing Dawn of Man, made by Madruga Works. And it's a game, city survival builder, set in the Stone Age as we go through to the Iron Age. So you know, Paleolithic to the blah blah blah, Bronze Age and the Iron Age. <laughs> we shall have a look at the edges in the game. So, uh, I played a bit, uncomfortable with the how to play it and whatnot. We have played through the content Continental Dawn, which we are going to play. And uh, yeah. I have looked at each and every one of these and in my opinion Forest River is the best starting location. It's it has the most potential to grow uh, to grow. It has most uh, plain like most flat terrain. Uh, most of this is just hilly terrain that you are boxed into in mountains. So it's hard to expand but uh, the Forest River is nice. So, we're gonna have game mode. Can have hardcore as well. But we're gonna save the hardcore one for the Northlands, which we will be playing after this one. So, to start off, Continental Dawn, normal uh, forest river. And then we're gonna have a name. And we're gonna call it Waste Rock. So yeah, <laughs> uh, grow and evolve your settlement from the Paleolithic to the Iron Age. About uh, 12,000 years ago, the last glacial period had just ended. This made most of continental Europe a lot easier to inhabit. Human populations thrived and the Neolithic Revolution started. So, uh, we just dive in, I suppose. Yeah, Forest River, normal and... Uh, our glorious settlement, Waste Rock. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> my throat. Waste Rock, Forest River, normal. Uh, here's the difference if you want to see. Unlimited save games. Game can, can, game can post. Odd tribes match your technology. Normal amount of raiders. Redru, redru, reduced <laughs> animal aggression. And hardcore only one save game game cannot be paused. Other tribes progress at their own rate. Larger amount of raiders, regular animal aggression. Yeah. So here we go. Start. Uh, so the first thing we need to fix is uh, at the start. Have a look, see what we can hunt in the nearby area. Looks like we got some uh, cows, aurochs, and some uh, megaloceros. Uh, do we have any mammoths? Maybe? No? Okay. Some donkeys. Hello, donkey. Uh, Megaloceros, prehistoric elks, and the cows. Then we had some ibex, right? Yeah, and the goats. Here, goaty, goaty, goaty. Uh, what's this? This is a cave lion, okay. I was hoping for a mammoth, but uh, you know. Uh, pause the game, and we're gonna assign some working stations for the people to work. So we want sticks as a vital part of the Stone Age community, so we can build uh, buildings. Uh, there is good. Assign 15 for the limit, so they're gonna gather sticks until we have 15 of them, and then they just or happy with that number. Another. We don't want to collect berries and nuts when we can. Here we have three trees that we can collect from, sure. 
Uh, we have some more berries in the nearby area. Let's put one there. This color is in there as well. It's important that we don't overextend ourselves too early. So it seems this is fine that uh, we have berries over here. Mostly trees, some berries I think. Yeah, blueberries. Yeah, that's kind of close. Sure, one there. And uh, one there. Just to get the berries in. And a sign too. And then a fisher. Uh, there, so they can go through each bank to collect fish, because they will uh, reduce to zero if they overfish it. I suppose two there as well, and ten is a good limit for that for now. Uh, next thing I want to do: collect uh, flint, stone. Sure, gather these three stones. And these flints. So now they have some things to do. The first thing you want to build, I think, is another tent. Actually, no. The first thing you want to build is a production so we can get some skins to dry. <coughs> I'm going to set up the first tent though. Uh, let's see, mark a cell. One, two, three. Whoops. Start over. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, that's good. Then we're gonna have a skin dryer. Two, I suppose. No. Let's go that. One is enough. Uh, prioritize it. I'm gonna start off. So, is there anything you wanna hunt immediately? Not really. I wanna focus on the sticks and the buildings for now. So, let's get on. Game speed X town good. So need two more uh, sticks and two dry skin for the tent. We need four sticks for the skin dryer. <laughs> they got some flint going there. I'm going to get sticks, yeah. Build that one. One more stick required. Uh, you are gathering sticks, good. Now go to skin there, good. Obtain stone has been uh, exhausted. Nice, they cleaned that up. We don't need more stone at the moment. Gonna build that, and now they're gonna produce some skins. Um, yeah, we need one more build. Set the high priority so they can begin. First structure, yeah. Uh, for every new buildings we get, we get an additional knowledge point. We have two at the moment. Because we collected 10 flints and uh, we built skins dryer. A quick break. And we're back. So let's resume. And uh, let's see, what are they doing? They are carrying some sticks to the skins dryer. Uh, increased time, speed rather. We got another knowledge point for acquired sticks. Good, we have three. 
Uh, we need five for these texts to take up. The first one we want is food drying, so we can dry some foods. Which is gonna, uh, well, let them be storage much f uh, longer. So for that to happen, we need to get a storage tent up and running. That's why we're building the dryers, so we can begin that. Uh, I want to put that one right here. Yeah. There. Uh, four dry skins and eight sticks. Prioritize that one. One more stick for that to happen. So, go gather sticks out of me, uh, for me. <laughs> So that has begun, uh, uh, not recycle, prioritize that one. It's seven more. We have, uh, yeah, two skins there, uh, four there, two there as well. That is going to be good. In the beginning, we only get seven populations, so it's real tough with the workload and stuff. But we can manage anything we can hunt. Oh, we have two cave lions, that's not good. We have two young cows. We have one adult there. I'm gonna be a bit more happy to hunt when we have the storage sent up and running so it doesn't. Okay. Cave lion, adult female. Um, no, it's too risky. Yeah. I actually wanna create stuff in the crafter. <laughs> Not a skins outfit though. We have already maxed out. We have two there. We need two there. So come on, people. Let's do this. Yeah. Carry them over. Perfect. You're gonna begin the construction of the storage tent. Awesome. I love this game. That's good. Help each other out. Awesome. <laughs> so that is complete. We got another knowledge point. Now we just need two for the tent. Which we do not have. Then we need to hunt stuff. Uh, if you press H and then encircle everybody you get the ones with space which is almost everybody except the uh, how many kids do we have? we have two kids right? one male and female yeah so every adult has a spear awesome now we're gonna find some prey to hunt Are you dead? Oh, excellent. Get him. Uh, do you have a bit face now? Do you? Yeah. Balgor, you have a bit face. Uh, you have two free slots. Sure, go and slaughter. Hmm. Didn't have to kill anything, <laughs> but we're gonna because we need more skins than just three. Uh, he is alone. Excellent. You're going to the cave line, so these ones can go and hunt the orc. 
Come on and gather people. Uh, I should be able to do it quite easy, yeah. I took some beatings. Yeah, ah, they're fine. You can go and butcher. Meanwhile, the others can collect stuff. Oh no, did the cave line disappear? Oh damn it. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, I suppose. Well, we got four raw skins there. Actually, we can't get one of those. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Do it right. <laughs> you did not lose them, just hunt it. And he's dead, good. Oh, come on. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, have your skins there, and then just do whatever you want. Those two should be enough. Go and collect. going to get raw skin, good. And um, yeah, for every new animal species you hunt, you also get knowledge points for every first five tens. Don't think it goes, maybe it does go over 20. You can actually see uh, fives. Well, we shall see after we hunt it. But here you see, you can collect one more fish and get a knowledge point. Two more meat, you get a knowledge point and stuff like that. For every building, for every species hunted. Uh, so, food drying, that's what's up. Gonna build one right away. Prioritize. Need six more sticks for that to happen. Which we're gonna need collecting for. Two more dry skins for that. We have it almost. One finished, good. And two is about done as well. Nice. So. That's going to happen soon. Milestone, nice. It's kind of quick. Hunting and gathering. So, what is that for? Uh, hunting and gathering. Accumulate three units of raw meat and three units of berries. Okay. The very basics of the Stone Age complete, nice. Our third tent is up and running soon as well. Need another six sticks. So uh, go and gather. Do we have any? Uh, yeah, we have plenty. Just go and gather. Did you collect everything? No, there's lots of meat left. Oh, come on. I could have picked up another. Going to tent. Going to get sticks. No, yeah, I'm going to get meat before it rottens, spoils. It's already halfway through. Not good. Pick up more. Okay, you're full. Damn it. Our workload is eighty percent, eighty-six percent. Okay, it's in the summer. I want you to pick up the meat. We hunted it with our bare hands. We need to make sure it doesn't spoil. 
at least in the storage tent resources will last 1.5 times longer when it's stored in this structure so we need to get it inside to get it more shelf life good um, uh, the other thing a wild donkey butcher it we have more raw skins here oh come on people what's up with you I don't have to think for every one is in this group yeah uh, go and get the meat and the raw skin before it spoils going to get sticks and now I'm going to get the meat and then uh, two of the sticks the meat yeah uh, it's tedious that you have to micromanage in the early stages, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. So in a way, it's a uh, guard simulator as well. Maybe that's why I like these kind of games. Pretend to be a guard. <laughs> no delusional there. <laughs> uh, what happened with the donkey? He based out of existence, okay? Nothing unusual there. Uh, now, gather the sticks. Got some chestnut in the hut, okay? Now, go to get the last remaining three sticks. You have one stick. You have two. Going to get skins. Skins outfit, okay. Donkey, donkey, have my king. Dum for a donkey. Hmm. Is anyone available? One, okay. No hunting now. We can have another tech. Let's get the dogs. It's a good protection in case of a bear attack or something like that. And it's good that they don't have to focus on getting the dogs to domesticate and tame and whatever. They just come strudling along on their own free will. So they're gonna cook it, but we need to rack it up on the dryer. Nice. Oops. Ibex Hunt Good, Butcher Not the tree, Butcher there. Trader, ooh, that's quick uh, What do you get? You get dry scenes, cured meat, flint, lava, log Would want the. That's worth five. Five. How many? We have seven spears, seven knives, three fishing. Maybe we can get two. I mean, that's just easy to get. So. I suppose. Yeah. And two cured meats. No, one log. Can I? This spawn the meat and get the log. There we go. Uh, dog domestication. Unlocks the domestication of the dogs. Dogs will slowly come to the settlement and will help you protect it. The other one I forgot to read, might as well. Uh, food drying. Uh, Paleolithic food drying. Unlocks the construction of the food dryer where you can produce cured meat and dry fish, which are the only lasting, only long lasting foods available in the Paleolithic. Sure. 
get that sorted out. Did you just spend our one log to heat up the hearth? Okay, the hearth. Uh, what else do we need to build right now? Spiritual we could build, but no, not just yet. I suppose another... Yeah, sure. Let's go for another tent. Uh, right across. There we go. Prioritize and build. We have a bit of food, vegetables we have the most of. And I keep on producing that. Uh, yeah, they can fish whenever they want to fish. Megaloceros, we did hunt one, one of you. Came line, we didn't. Dimebaxes, we did. This is donkeys and a boar. Okay. Oh, my young donkey. Can we get him? We can go and hunt. One extra knowledge point here and there. Uh, where do they go? There they are. Then maybe we can get the boar as well. If we're lucky. Hunt. We got the wild donkey. Now go for the boar. What? <laughs> okay then. Come on, hunt it. Man, he really packs a punch in his health. Or our spears just suck, apparently. Okay, ignore him. Come back. Yeah, Boris escaped. Oh, he wants a rematch, apparently. Uh, because of the river, he needs to drink. Uh, can we get... Okay, two might be enough. Come here. Now hunt. And fire at once. Call. Good. Good, nice. Uh, collect. Come and collect. There we go. Now we have seven. In the early stages, really quick to get some points in. Don't unlock spirituality. Then we can build a totem. Nice little totem. And a skull pole. Nice. So they're gonna gather that. They are done with the donkey, right? Yeah, no. Okay, one raw meat left. Uh, can we get a boy or a girl to collect it? I can get that one. And they are done eating. Okay, I'm gonna let you finish eating. Going to get raw meat, not a stick. Uh, where are you at? There you are. Boom. They are done with the second tent. Awesome. Uh, want to replace the crafter as well. And the storage. A wood pile, the storage pile. Uh, you can go and do that real quick. And then that one, okay. Didn't want to. Into the content. Uh, next one, you're gonna s yeah, sleep. You can go and finish that one then. Oh, did we get our first dog? Yes, we did. Hello, doggy. What are we gonna call you? If you have any nice name for him, 
leave a comment. Was it a him or a she? Adult male, okay. A he name for the dog, please. <laughs> We're gonna call him uh, Roscoe for the moment. So, if you don't want him to be called Roscoe, leave a comment. Uh, finish the rock pie, please. Balgor, the old man of the village. Uh, finished, finished, nice. Uh, he is recycling at the moment. Can we get a crafter? Two skins, um, two sticks, I believe. I suppose we can have you right there, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have you there then. Or we're gonna have you a bit closer to here, maybe. No, we're gonna have you close to a rock and a wood pile. Because flints in the rock and woods in the wood pile. Oh, I'm already building it. That means we can take away this one. Uh, recycle. I'm going to get a raw skin. Well, ah, oh, the door. Yeah, that's good. Pick that up. Uh, raw skin and then get the meat. You can't, okay. Get the meat then. And the raw skin. Good. And you get the bone. Nice. New humans. So we have nine population. Nice. And apparently they are naked. Gorok, old man, and uh, Gori. A girl. No. Okay, okay, we can get the both old male uh, adult. Uh, old adult and uh, child, okay. So the crop is finished. Let, let him uh, produce our wooden spear, wooden harp, wooden and bit face. Bit face or by face? By face is it, yeah. We have capacity for three more, so we don't need another tent just yet. How you doing, Rocco? A good boy, yes you are. <laughs> uh, hmm. What can we else hunt? Nothing over here, whoa. We have Doggo Paradise. We have not hunted the ancient potion, but that is a bit dangerous. This is a cave lion. Hmm. No. That's too close. Uh, off with the screen now. Off. There we go. Uh, limits? No, not limits. Actually, yeah, we need to have a look-see. Uh, 100% of spears, knives, axes, 50% of the population, fish as well, sickles, picks, slings. Don't want slings. Uh, 50 swords, uh, 50 bows, bows. Sure. Uh, yeah. Knowledge. Uh, Ebex we have. Megalosaurus, boar, auroch, and wild donkey. Ebex, ancient bison. Ebex. That's ancient bison. I guess maybe we go for the cave lion. No, it's too dangerous. A 
do want to get lucky and maybe one of the young ones can stray away from the herd. But don't risk anything just yet. And I suppose we can increase the limit of the flint to 20 maybe. Same for sticks, since some of them are idle at the moment. How are the fish doing? I want some more replenishing to do. So we're gonna set up another fisher. Uh, that one is those three. So go take care of those. That's a three. Uh, three and three. Two people out to fifteen. You know what? We're gonna max it out. Yeah. Uh, 20 sticks, 20 flint, 15 fish. Stones we do not really care for. It's just the hearth that requires stones at this point in time. Yeah, two stones which we have already. I suppose we can get another. Yeah, they're really efficient now. Rocco, how are you doing? Uh, where are the bison going? Uh, I'm gonna let them do their things. They are fishing, so that's nice. Gorok. Survived the winter, nice. Flint. Okay, that's depleted. That's not good to see. So you are beginning to build up a resource. But actually we are over the time. Yeah, 30 minutes I think is up soon. Uh, so, oh, we have another dog. We have uh, old Rocco here. And another old male. <laughs> so, two dog names then. If you don't want him to be called a Rocco, leave a comment. And for the other one, a name that you can choose. So, uh, next time we're gonna hunt a bit more, build a bit more for every building. The first building and the fifth building, we get another knowledge point. So that's a way to increase as well. We're gonna hunt a cave line or two. Uh, that one we want to hunt. And some bisons and whatnot. So yeah, uh, if you liked the series, give a like. It really helps the channel grow and be noticed faster and stuff like that. I'm really excited for this. So if you are as well, leave a like. As I said, subscribe and click the notification bell to see when I upload another video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Waysero and I'll see you in the next episode. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support me by giving a like, comment, share and subscribe along with clicking the notification bell to get all the latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate it. I am Waysero and I'll see you next time.